everyone, I am Harvey Kuyani. I am a, a tutor at Church Mission Society, CMIC in Oxford, uh, where I lead the program that focuses on African Christianity, especially African Christianity in the diaspora. Uh, it's a program that is run hand in hand with Missy Africanus, an organization that we founded back in 2014 that um, studies African Christianity, especially in, in, in the West. I also lead Global Connections, um, where I, I, I work with mission organizations in the UK, thinking and, and talking about mission uh, in the UK and around the world. But I'm here to talk about, about the master's program at, at CMS. It's a master's program that is, um, of course, validated by Durham University. Yeah. It focuses on, on the study of African Christianity uh, here in the UK, but also around the world. It's a program that can be fully accessed online. Um, you do not need to come to Oxford or to come to the UK to study it. You can, you can study it from anywhere in the world. We have students on the program at the moment that are studying with us from Kenya, from Romania, from other places in the world. Uh, so you do not have to come to the UK. You do not have to come to Oxford to study, uh, to study with us. Uh, this master's program is designed specifically for non-Western Christians trying to understand their Christian identity as well as trying to understand their mission occurring for what God has for them to do in, in the world. It has three key modules that focus on African Christianity. Uh, the first one is an African church history module that will take students th through a 2000 year journey of understanding where, the, where African Christianity comes from. It starts way back in Alexandria with St. Mark right at the beginning of Christianity and it will go through the 2000 years of, of Christian existence in the continent to actually bring you up to date as to what's happening in Christianity in Africa at the moment. Um, so that's, that's a module that students rave a lot about, they love it, the, it, it helps them gain an understanding of who they are and what God has done in Africa and possibly what God is going to do in Africa in the future. Uh, many of the students feel like it prepares them to be able to tell the African story of Christianity in a truly African manner that makes sense, not for just this generation, but the next generation. The second module that we we have that focuses on African Christianity is an African traditional religion module. This module helps our students understand the connection between Christianity and African traditional religion. Uh, in that, of course, um, we, we, we believe, we understand as Africans that, that religion is part of our nature. Um, the, the famous African theologian John Beattie once said that Africans are notoriously religious. Um, and, and, and we agree with that. African religion forms a, 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 a place on which Christianity finds uh, fertility to, to grow, to become what it has become today. So to understand African Christianity, everybody needs to understand African religion. And we do this in this module in a way that students begin to actually connect their, their faith to the religious traditions of, of, of their ancestors. It's a module that students say it helps them quite significantly to find their identity to be able to know actually uh, who they are, where they're coming from, and, and, and how the religion of their ancestors impact what they do and, and where they are today. It helps them begin to understand Christianity in, in a better way, in a way that could not otherwise be possible. The third module is African Pentecostalism. Um, if, if you know anything about African Christianity, you will know that actually uh, it's, a, it's a Christianity that is informed to a large extent by the power of the Spirit. Uh, the Spirit is, is almost in everything that we do and talk about in African Christianity. Um, I, I'm always reminded when I, when I talk about the Spirit in African Christianity of the South African National Anthem, that, that has the, the chorus that goes war zamoya, which translates come spirit or come holy spirit. And, and to a great extent, um, I, it, it does appear that the, the 
Pentecostal age of African Christianity is an asset of this prayer that the Holy Spirit has come across across Africa and has reshaped Africa to be the most Christian continent in the world today. But you cannot understand African Christianity without understanding African Pentecostalism. African Pentecostalism brings a lot of a lot of materials, um, theological materials for us to study, just to understand what it is that it means to be an African Christian. It, it is a module that many of our students uh, recommend as, as the best module they've studied and they, they, they always say they look forward to passing it on and, and talking about it with their friends. So those three key modules, um, in addition to three other modules that are done in, in collaboration with students uh, studying in a different track at CMS, and those will be mission ecclesiology, mission leadership, and, and research methods. Um, and together, uh, students do six modules, and those six modules prepare them for a dissertation. The course costs around 5,200 pounds, plus university administration fees, that would be around 300 pounds per year. Uh, and, and so it's quite affordable. We encourage students to use instalments to make their payments at the university and, and, and that generally works out all right. Um, there are every year a few bursaries that are available uh, and so some students in need uh, are able to access those and, and um, that, that helps them uh, as, as they go through their studies. Everyone is encouraged to apply, uh, though we do require that our students um, have at least a certificate in theology b before applying. As such, um, everybody who has a certificate in theology can apply to come and do uh, the master's with us, especially if they have a bachelor's degree in a different field. Um, for those interested to apply, please contact us at, at uh, Missio Africanus. Um, you can contact Joseph at missioafricanus.com. Uh, Joseph at missioafricanus.com. You can also contact us at Church Mission Society uh, at helen.howwood at churchmissionsociety.org. Um, the, the, the email address is spelled out on the screen. So it, if you make use of that, uh, you will you will hear from us, and we will begin to work on your application. Thank you.